welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure okay look they didn't mess around with the wrong one f the round and found out they didn't mess around and found out i cannot make this stuff up <laughs> Somebody come in on my side. They say, I think you just uh, speculate. You just making stuff up. Like, no, these are real life scenarios. <laughs> these are real life scenarios. They didn't mess with the wrong one. They didn't mess around and found out. They didn't know that you was the chosen one. They didn't know that you were blessed and highly favored. Like, they didn't know that they couldn't, that, that you got a team in the spirit realm that don't play about you. <laughs> they ain't know that you had a team in this physical that don't play about you. They didn't know how energy works. Like they didn't know that they was going to reap what they have sown. They sowed the seeds. Okay. They messed with you and they didn't found out. They didn't mess around and found out. Okay. Things are starting to take a turn. Things are starting to take a toll on these people who thought that they could mess with you. Look, look at it. Look at their lives slowly begin to crumble. Look at how people are slowly begin, beginning to wake up to who this person really is. Look at it. Look at how lonely this person is becoming because they're just not a good person. Look at it. And some of these people... They are guilty by association. Y'all know the term, you are who you hang around. It is what it is. You are who you hang around. If you believe in, like, if you sit there and allow them to be who they are, knowing that they're not the best person, knowing that their energy is not on fleek, and you might not know, for real, for real, people are really good with um, masking their identities. But that don't mean that that stuff is not going to be um, pushed onto you. And that's not who you are going to become because you're sitting there and you're listening to them and you're agreeing with them. And now you're moving like them and you're jigging like them. Like some people are guilty by association. Some people allowed others to taint their thought process, to taint their mind, to um, like taint their opinions of other people like. Some people have allowed others to manipulate their thought process in how they move in the world. Some people don't have a mind of their own. Some people don't have a backbone of their own. Some people don't think for themselves. So they are guilty by association, which makes them no better than this person who then fucked around and found out. <laughs> they fucked around and found out. It is what it is. They thought that they could mess with you. And look how things are becoming in their life. Look at it. Look how people are waking up to who this person is. Look how people ain't messing with them. Look how their business is falling apart. Look how their friends don't like them no more. Look at it. The proof is in the pudding. Look how things are crumbling for them. And it's not just about you. It's not just about messing with you. They didn't mess with a whole lot of people. They didn't thought that they can get things over on a whole lot of people. This person thought that they can get over on people. And now they are reaping what they have sown. They planted these seeds. They did it to themselves. They did it to themselves. They didn't know that they were going to have to they didn't know that every action has a reaction. They didn't know that their actions would come with consequences, whether good or bad. They didn't know that karma was going to come knocking at their door. Karma is now knocking at their door. And you see it. You see it in little bits and pieces of their life and their reality. Things are taking a turn, and I'm not going to say it's for the better. I don't think that they like it. I don't think so. They done done some people wrong. They done backdoored some people. They didn't they didn't hid their identity so well behind the mask that now that thing then fell off. 
it fell off in the very group of people that they once had fooled. The very group of people who they once could control and manipulate. They didn't mess around and found out. You're not the only one who they have uh, did wrong. You not. This is why karma, karma came knocking at their door. It sure did. So now they're facing the consequences of their actions. They didn't think that it would ever happen because they was getting away with this stuff for so long. They were able to do whatever they wanted to people for so long. They were just living their lives. Now they're wondering why things are not working in their favor anymore. Because it's not about, like, one thing is, it ain't about when, it's about what. So if that very thing is supposed to happen to them, oh, trust and believe it's going to happen to them. No matter how hard they try to run from it, no matter how much they get off, like, that might have been just something that they needed. They needed to build up just so when they get slapped in their face, just when they get knocked down, that they can really feel it. They thought that when they was like slapping you upside the head and being who they wanted to be towards you, that it was okay. But now that it's happening to them, they don't like it. They don't like it. They messed around and found out. They didn't mess with the wrong one. They didn't know that God don't play about you. They didn't know that because they don't have a, a connection to the source like you. They thought it was a game. They thought that they can get over. They thought that no one would ever find out. That's what they thought. They thought that people would never stand up for themselves. They didn't think that what they did was an issue. Because somehow it made them feel more powerful. Somehow it made them feel superior. Somehow it made them feel like they were on top. But they really wasn't on top. The lies, the manipulation, the stealing, the cheating, like they, none of that. So now they, they put all of that out. That's all they're getting in return. So now people are starting to treat them like, like they've treated others. Now things that has nothing to do with the way that they treated others are starting to go left in their reality and they're trying to figure out why. They're trying to figure out. It seemed like they, they, they thought that they were on the right path. They thought that they, they did what they did and now that they can just throw in a towel, they can just like let it go, they can continue living their life. But they didn't know that they had to pay for what they purchased. <laughs> they had to pay for what they purchased. They thought that they could run out the store without paying for that. But not only did the security sensor catch them at the door, security grabbed them by their collar and made them pay a dollar. <laughs> Security grabbed them by their collar and made them pay a dollar. And they actually had to pay more than one dollar. They had to pay more. Their cost on what they had to pay is much more than what the average person had to pay for doing what they did. And they're trying to figure out, well, why do I have to pay so much? Everybody else had to pay a dollar. But they acting blind. They act like they forget. They didn't forget all of the stuff that they did, all the little sneaky stuff that they didn't did. All of the wrongdoings that they didn't do, all of the ill will that they didn't put out, the ill intentions they didn't put out towards other people. Like, all of the times where they were wrong, intentionally, it's one thing to be wrong and not have ill intentions. They were wrong intentionally. They knew exactly what they were doing. And now they have to pay for it and they're upset about it. They don't like it. They're down about it. So now they're trying to get people to, once again, they're trying to reel people in this time in a different way. They need help. Now they need people to save them. Now they need people to pick them up. But they don't have many people to turn to. 
because people are looking at them with the side eye like ain't you the same one who did this ain't you the same one who said that they think people forgot ain't nobody forgot what they didn't did just because you may have let it go just because you washed your hands of it just because you may have forgiven them you you haven't forgotten People have not forgot who this person is. So they think because no one brought it up, because no one's talking about it anymore, that people forgot. Not knowing God ain't forget. Karma ain't forget. Karma came knocking at that door. Matter of fact, karma knocked twice. They didn't answer. They're like, oh, no, I don't have to deal with this. Karma kicked that door down. And guess what? If karma didn't kick that door down yet, Karma still knocking. Karma trying to give them an opportunity to, to face their mess, to face the mess that they have made, to try to right their wrongs, to try to turn it around even a little bit, to show that they have any type of empathy or sympathy. Like, But clearly they don't. So if karma ain't kicked down that door yet, it's coming. Trust and believe. There is nothing that you have to do. It's nothing that you have to do. You've done your part. You like continue to be who you are. Continue to live in your truth. Continue to be uh freeing yourself. Continue to be to shine light through all of that darkness. Continue to shine light. Like, because only thing with you trying to like get them back, it's only gonna make you feel worse. It's only gonna like like it's not much good that's gonna come out of that, okay? So continue to be a blessing to others. Continue to shine your bright light even through all of the darkness. Because trust and believe. They didn't fucked around and found out. They didn't mess with the wrong one. They did. And if they ain't found out yet, oh, it's close. Oh, it's close. And trust and believe. There's been little things that's going to lead up into something that they're just going to feel so terrible about that they're going to have to sit and they're going to have to reflect and they're going to have to like really think about what they did <laughs> like in a corner like a little kid think about what you did they're going to be forced to think about what they did so if this video resonates if it hit different let me know how so if you are new here i do invite you to hit that subscribe button if you don't have time already there are limited amount of spaces i'm not gonna tell y'all how many okay because once it's done it's done i'm gonna stop stop promoting it but there are a limited amount of spaces to get your free 100 dollars. you have to use the link down in my description um chime is a mobile banking app i absolutely love it okay from uh no additional fees overseas to a spot me overdraft like no fees for that like you ain't got to go into the bank it's just so many benefits check it out but make sure you use that link in my description so that you can get your 100 dollars. that's all i have for this video did i say if you're new here okay if you're new here i invite you to hit that subscribe i probably did but look stay spiritually you stay spiritually in tune and i see y'all on the next one peace